Donkey, dog, uh, cat, and some other animals with two legs. Like it can be chicken as well, right? What does respectively mean? Respectively? Okay, so co-hypenems, what do we mean? What do we mean by co-hypenems? Co-hypenems? So that there's more than one hypenem or small hypenem. More than one horse and dog. Uh, horse, dog, donkey, chicken. Yeah. Right? Yeah. These are co hypenems of the word animal. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. And uh, prototypes. What do you mean by prototypes? Prototype? Yes, I think. Sorry? Origin? Like what do you, what do we mean by the origin? Can you give an example? Uh, in Turkish, it's also this word is used in Turkish as a prototype. Ikun. The first example that comes to your mind as soon as you hear the word. For example, when you hear the word bird, what comes to your mind? What do you think? Or in English, generally, when they uh, say uh, bird, it is rabbit. Rabbit. It's a bad type of bird. But sometimes it's a uh, subjective issue, you know? Uh, subjective. It depends on. Um, it, it depends. It can be changeable. Of course, if you live in Antarctica, you would <laughs> the, the penguin would come to your mind first. So you think about it first because you cannot see. Uh, uh, but, but as we said at the beginning, this is semantics. Uh, it can be uh, uh, well. You can have different meaning based on different regions, like candy. Okay, uh, candy is used in America, and candy uh, sweet is used in uh, Britain. So in Britain, you would think about uh, sweet, not candy. So uh, different, but it is objective. If it's a, it has a general meaning because everybody in Britain, most of them would think about sweet, which use the word sweet instead of candy. So in Antarctica, so like based on this example, people in Antarctica may be uh, when, when, you, when they use the word bird, they can think about the penguin because it is there. It, it is the only bird maybe there. Okay? Because they, they wouldn't think about uh, pigeons or doves or ostrich. There are no people in Antarctica. <laughs> <laughs> like, we. Eskimos. Like Eskimos. 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 Yeah. Yeah. What are they? Okay, now, where are you from? The yeah, other I know, but where about <laughs> For example, here, yeah. okay, an example in the Arabic. What do you say? Kushi <laughs> Muhammad. <laughs> okay, what does kind of bird is Kush? Here. Pigeon. Pigeon, of course. You have a gene. What do you say? Kush Larumbar. Okay, do you understand uh, that guy has some uh, ostrich? Deva Kushu? No, you wouldn't think that. Or. Sparrow, Sercha? No. You would directly think about pigeons. Okay? So this is the prototype here when you when you say bird. Alright? Question twelve. Is it clear now? Um sir. Yeah. Uh, you got an Yeah. Okay. I have denied. <laughs> D wait for it. Nine. Denied. Good night. Go ahead. Um, e. Sorry, E. Uh, can it be also true? Because. 12. Question 12. Yeah. 12. E. Uh, the correct excuse answer me. was. C. C. Excuse me. C. Because 
Uh, when you say injure, um, the word injure um, reminds me punch, stab, shoot. No, 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 no. This is like the example. Okay, the things that we just explained. When you say yaralandı, what do we mean by yaralandı? You, uh, the word injure uh, doesn't make you think about uh, think about like punching, because there are a lot of like, punching, stabbing, shooting. For me, what is it? Okay, uh, a boy in the in the schoolyard. Uh, he, I saw a boy in the schoolyard who was injured. Excellent. I wouldn't think about shooting or uh, being punched. But there are a lot of ways to be injured, right? But in the Arabic here, like here. <laughs> you think about that, you think about Sator, <laughs> you think about Sator, yes. But most, think about most, that. most uh, remarkable ones, maybe uh, stab, shoot. But they are not. Me, I wouldn't think about shooting. Yaralandı. Okay? But think about verb. Okay, then in verb we've got, but when you say verb, it can be sparrow, right? It can be dough, pigeon, parrot, and so on. But here when you see it, the first one, the first the first verb type that comes to your mind is pigeon. So we, we say here, that is the prototype here. You wouldn't think about uh, sparrow or parrot or some other some other uh, birds. And here, when we talk about okay being injured, I would most probably think about uh, a scars, yeah, a, a minor injury that you have, but not as a result of being stabbed or shot. They are not prototypes. Okay. So think in Turkish, yaralandı. So what would you think of? Would you think of uh, being stabbed or being shot or being punched in the stomach? Being punched in the stomach. I mean, they are not prototypes. We cannot call them prototypes, right? They are called hyperlinks of the word injured, but they are not prototypes. And generally, prototypes can be one or two, but not like this. Okay, they have to be. Objective for everyone. Or, for example, you're uh, well, you've got a little kid playing in the garden uh, in your uh, the garden of your complex or your house, and someone comes to your house and knocks on the door, say, uh, "Sir, your son has been injured." What do you think about shooting? He fell down. Yeah, maybe. Shooting. Yeah. Maybe, but it's not. It wouldn't come to your mind. Uh, unless you are crazy, thinking, making some fantasy. Yeah, yeah. Lo lots or, of uh, things. Some being shot. <laughs> lots of things can uh, come to my mind. In case of your child, lots of things. Uh, you have to think about the first, the first thing that comes to your mind. Would it be shot? Uh, shooting? I don't think so. Not maybe, but uh, a step. It is possible. No, I don't. Or you call your wife. As Hello, sweetie, honey, what are you doing? Uh, I'm in pain. Really? What happened here? Well, I got injured. Who shot you? Would <laughs> <laughs> you say, can you ask that question? No, you wouldn't. So, what, what happened? Did you cut your finger while washing the dishes? Doing the dishes? You would think about that, right? Or maybe uh, she fell down, she slipped and fell down on the ground and uh, hurt herself. You would think about this, you wouldn't think about shooting or being stabbed. You got me now? But think, uh, your, wife, uh, your wife says, uh, guess what? I call a bird. Bird in, in the American, bird when you say this, okay, I caught a pigeon. It would directly come to your mind. Mm -hmm. You got what I mean now? Yeah, I have oh. already understood, but <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so uh, question 13. The correct answer was? <clears throat> Alright, so uh, what is the, lex uh, the basic lexical relation between the following pairs of words?
words like bear, bear, meat, meat, flower, flower, pale, pale, right, right, so, so, two, two, two. Same, same pronunciation, but with different written forms. And there are, there are two words, two words, uh, two different words with different written forms, but with the same pronunciation. And these are called homophones. Phone, you remember about phonology? Yes. Okay, Some. the sound of a word. So, when it is the same, the, the sound that you hear is the same. And homo means same, right? So, homophones in Turkish we say? Esh, sesli or sestesh? Sestesh. Same there. Same? Okay. There are synonyms. Okay. So, sestesh, like bear, are you? Bear. Bear, chuplak, right? Ayu and chuplak. With different written forms, different meaning, different meaning, but same pronunciation. Okay? Alright. So there are, there are homophones. Are there synonyms? Bear, 